Okay guys, welcome back. I'm going to show you two different fields that I am rotary hoeing today. Uh, so planting was delayed a little bit this year. Uh, these fields were planted uh, 12 days ago in the middle of June. So this is a chopping field where the sorghum was. And you can see root balls of the sorghum down there. Uh, because of the way the weather has been and because of that hot dry period, uh, I did the two pass field cultivation and I uh, went deep, quote quote, deep for moisture on this hill. Then it proceeded to be about 93 degrees for seven days, so it was a little bit warm. Uh, we did have a few emergence issues uh, with this particular variety of beans, but they emerged and we have a stand. And so we are out here rotary hoeing. Uh, when you're rotary hoeing in these circumstances, you need to be a little bit cautious. So every round after I go, you know, the equivalent of a mile. Oh, there go two coyotes down there across the field. Anyway, every time I do a round, I stop and I get off and check the rotary hoe. Uh, it is possible to pick up a root ball here from this sorghum. And that will stop a spider from turning on the rotary hoe. So it's kind of hard to film and maintain this speed on this rough ground here, but I'm going to give you a look in the mirror so you can see what's going on. That's one mirror, and there's the other mirror. have some nice dust action and things are working pretty good. You just have to be wary of plugs on this ground. Okay guys, I want to uh, show you a little bit of the field here. So you can see what the rotary hoe is doing. It has loosened that soil very good. And it uh, has cleaned a little baby grass foxtails up real good. And there's some treasure that I have found. So the rotary hoe is real good about picking up any debris you've left in the field. So you really need to avoid uh, leaving debris in the field. So besides cleaning it out, when you get to uh, a stopping point, I am also looking at the ridges where I have already gone over there. And anyway, you are just looking for telltale clues that you have a spider not turning. When you have a spider not turning because it caught a big root ball, it's not a crisis, uh, but it can be a crisis depending on, you know, what's happening. If one spider grabs, it usually flips the thing up and so you only drag one spider, but it is possible get a plug that will stop both spiders on one arm turning and when that happens uh, then it does tend to plow off beans. So you can't really stop and check yourself in the field. What I am doing, there goes another coyote. That is a big coyote. Anyway, you can't really look back when you're going at this speed. So what I'm doing is I'm glancing in my mirrors. Uh, I cannot turn around and physically see if the spiders are turning. So you glance in your mirrors and you make sure that you're not plowing out. You look back about 20 feet in your mirrors and you can tell if you're pushing the ridges down too much. So what I'm getting out on the end here, this is what I'm looking at. And I am picking up a lot of the root balls from those sorghum. Uh, those would not have to be cleaned off every time. But you do have to look for a plug because it is possible for a big root ball to come up here and grab this point here. Or for a root ball to get caught in down at that point there. Okay guys, we are back where I showed you the pictures of the field cultivator.
working through the residue, so we planted the beans. It's 10 days later. Uh, you can row the beans real nice, and we're rotary hoeing. Uh, the emergence was a hair off. After I planted, we had four days in the mid-90s. Uh, then it cooled off, and we had an inch of rain. Uh, so a bulk majority of the beans did come right away, but some of them were a hair delayed. Uh, regardless, there was enough residue there that brought it down and held the weeds down. And so we are out here rowing, uh, rotary hoeing, a uh, beautiful bean field.